Hey guys, I'm Jack, and today I'll be showing you how I customize my very own front bumper. In particular, I'll be showing you how I made this vent over here, and also this center ridge here. Hope you guys enjoy the video. The first change I'll be doing to this front bumper is, as you can see, there is a passenger side nostril or a air intake. I'll be replicating this air intake onto the other side just to give it a symmetrical look and to yeah start making changes and making this bumper look different. Start off I taped off the edges of the boundaries of the intake where it starts to creep in and using reference lines as this hard line that hard line and also the emblem you can try to replicate uh, that side onto that side. I ended up using this piece of paper. Um, where does it go? Just like this. And I flipped it over. Make sure it matches best possible on that side. Alright, so let's start with cutting. Make sure you put on your mask and your safety glasses because we're cutting fiberglass and you don't want to be getting any of this dust in your lungs. Taking the front bumper off my car and I'll give you a close up of the cut. Very happy with it, nice and clean. I left the top bit on just so you can have some support while I'm still driving for it for about another week before it's done. And the plan is now is to use this expanding foam that I found. I'll be using the foam to cover this entire hole. I'll just be adding a backing with it, probably add a cardboard just so the foam sticks to something. And once the foam uh, hardens up, I'll be using a knife to carve out the foam to match up the surface and contours of this intake. Okay, so I finished spraying the expanding foam and I'll be waiting for probably an hour for it to dry and I'll be using a knife to carve it out. Okay, so this is what day two looks like. It dried up really hard. Um, the, all the excess I used a knife to cut and now I'll be using some sandpaper and sand the surface down, make it smooth. So this foam here, uh, foam typically does not react well to fiberglass resin. It usually uh, melts uh, with contact. So to prevent that, um, I'll be covering the foam material with aluminium tape. Between the fiberglass and the aluminium tape, I'll be adding a, a releasing agent. That will just help um, the foam and the tape rip off the, um, the back side of the bumper. I'll be only adding about one or two layers of fiberglass on top, and then I'll be working from behind, just so I don't build up so much layers of fiberglass on this top first surface. Right, so I got the tape laid down. Now I'll be uh, using a rag or some tissue I got and adding a thin layer of wax. I'm using this one, Seal and Shine by Turtle Wax. Welcome back to day four of the Aerotech build. The pipe glass is now dry. What I'm going to do now is remove all of the cardboard and self-expanding foam. lost count on how many days I've been working on this. What I'll do today is cut up the edges of the fiberglass. Um, I want to sand down the, um, 
the edges here where I overlap the new fiberglass with the old fiberglass and blend that in nicely. Then I'll also be adding some fiberglass resin on top of this just so these rough and low spots can be filled in and maybe some body filler after that, we'll see. So it's been six hours of sanding this whole bumper down. I've gotten to the point where I'm satisfied with how smooth the vent is. So here I've just added some body filler with all the imperfections off. Now I'm just going to sand them down once again. Also um, made a change of plans and I'll be incorporating this trapezium looking ridge right here. This was influenced by the Lamborghini Huracan Liberty Walk kit. I made this out of uh, just some foam and I wrapped it in aluminium tape. So I'm just gonna stick that down probably with some 3M tape, fiberglass over. Here we are back with day six. The center ridge is looking really good. Um, in a few hours it will be done. Just need to sand it down and make sure there's no imperfections before I prime up the whole bumper. All the sanding and body filling has now been completed on the new vent and center ridge. What I'll be doing now is priming the two new surfaces. What I'll be doing now is cleaning the whole bumper with some mineral turpentine. Then I'll be using some plastic and fiberglass primer. When you're dealing with pure fiberglass like these two pieces, uh, you're gonna wanna use a fiberglass primer because paint does not not stick well to pure fiberglass. After that, I'll be adding my actual primer. So I just applied the fiberglass primer. What I'll be using now is the primer filler. The bumper is back on the car. I'll give you guys a quick walk around before I get started on it today. So it's day number nine now. The bumper is in stage of getting it ready for paint. To do that, I'll be going around the front bumper with the marker, circling every imperfection that I could find, and just using some basic body filler to fix it up. So the main issues that I found with the bodywork so far are just pit holes, uh, rock chips, and in terms of the vents, I need to make this side of the wall here more vertical and steeper, just like it is on this side. Alright, we finished with the bodywork on the front bumper. Now I'm just going to spray all the um, raw fiberglass with some primer. I ended up priming the entire bumper just so I don't miss any scratches. Um, now I'm just going to start painting. So that's three coats of the base coat done. Came out really smooth, I'm really liking it. There's some spots where it just has a bit of dust, just like these parts here. 
And also, the downside of painting outside, not in a paint booth, is there's no vacuum. So there's always debris from the uh, overspray coming down and landing onto the bumper, which gives it a kind of a grainy feel. So we're just going to go over it with some 2500 wet sandpaper and just to smoothen it down before we apply the clear coat. It's currently 37 degrees outside, which is too hot to be painting in. So that's why we are here. We've got the aircon on at 24 degrees, which is uh, just a little bit over room temperature, which is perfect. And now we're just going to spray some clear coat. Seven layers of clear coat after the bumper has finished paint. Let me just quickly show you around, see what we came out with. Yep. So I'm really happy with it. Um, I can't complain so much because it's only a $60 paint job with rattle cans. But I'm yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out.